about one of the greatest vocabulary misunderstandings, vulva versus vagina. They tend to get used kind of interchangeably, but those are two very different body parts. I sometimes explain it like the vulva is the front yard, the porch, and the front door. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, yeah, that's pretty accurate. The vulva is referring to the external female genitalia, and the vagina is the internal, leading up to the cervix, which is the opening of the uterus or the womb. So, yes, a lot of times when people tell me that they're having some sort of itching, it could be internal in the vagina, but it also could be external over the labia, the labia majora, which are the larger labia, and then the internal labia, the labia minora, and that's all a part of the vulva. Same with the clitoris, it's a part of the vulva, the exterior, the external genitalia of the woman. And as for the vagina, what are we talking about when we appropriately use that terminology? We're talking about the inside. So when you place a tampon, the tampon is up inside the vagina. When you're talking about, well, we said vagina and the vaginal canal, if I'm looking at the vulva, where am I finding the vaginal opening? So the vaginal opening is between the labia majora and the labia minora. And and to differentiate this, just above the vagina is going to be the urethral opening. Um, that's the opening to the bladder. These are separate holes and lead to separate places of the body. So when someone is using a tampon for their period, for example, there is a tampon inside the vagina. You can pee with the tampon in because those are two separate entities. They, because the urethra, the opening to the bladder, is not a part of the vagina, it's above the vagina. I hope we're not blowing minds with that fact, but just in case, there are three openings for women. The urethra, the opening to the bladder, the vagina, which leads up to the cervix and the womb, and then the anus, 